You know, I don't just make videos randomly. I wait, I listen, and I do what you, my sons and daughters, are asking of me, okay? A good number of you have been asking, Mama, make a video on how to move to Canada as a nurse. And yeah, of course, I'm your mama and I'm here. And why am I here? To just support your Canadian immigration process, the journey, so that it is smooth for you, so that it's manageable for you, so that it is stress-free for you, okay? And so for that reason, today we are talking about how you can immigrate to Canada as a nurse. Hello everybody, welcome back to Accord TV and if you're checking in for the very first time, it's your mama Accord and yes, I am the immigration queen. <laughs> Please remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't, and ring the bell so you don't miss out on any of my content. Now, nurses, you were touched, you were blessed, you were, you know, you, you, saw, you, you saw the light, and you became a nurse, or you have clicked on this video because perhaps you're considering to be a nurse. You're playing, you know, you're playing around with the idea of being a nurse. You are at the right place. Because the focus of this video, we are going to learn about all this. How do you or how can you as a man or woman move to Canada as a nurse? We're going to go through the whole process and then give you, you know, what? And give you or rather show you some of the links or one link that you can use to find a job in Canada as a nurse. Okay? But the main idea is how to. And then we'll talk about the jobs a little bit and how and where you can find them. I mean, isn't that interesting? Okay? I think there's a video I did and one of you. One of my sons was like, oh, you know what, mama? The intro to this video was too long. So if you want people to watch, okay, make the intro quickly. Then you get into the whatever of the video, the main idea of the video. But let me tell you, if you're in immigration and then you are in a hurry, number one, you're going to miss out on all the points, okay? Because even if I take 10 years introducing a video, there's something important I'm saying. There's something which will come out of it, which you need to learn about. But again... Me, I'll just give you guys what you want. The intro may not be short, the way maybe some of you feel it should be. It may be long, but this is what you can do. It's very simple. Don't fast over it. Just skip and then go to the beginning of the video. Then watch what you need to watch and then you continue with your process. I mean, we are easy here. We, we don't fast over small things, okay? If it's time, you, 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 you just do what you need to do. Just make sure that you get the points, that you get the idea of the video, that you get everything that you need to get from that video because your mama here. I'm taking all the necessary time. Ne is it necessary or required? All the required time to make sure that you, my sons and daughters, get exactly what you need to work on your process. Okay? And the only price you need to pay or the only price you have to pay is just watch, listen, learn. And if you're kind enough, share with other people. I mean, it's that they just roll my eyes. It's, 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 it's just that simple. Okay, don't say simple. In an IELTS test, you'll fail. It's simple. Okay, good. Hospitals and clinics are already hurting over the need for nurses. And they are going to suffer even more because of shortages of nurses. And because of that, Canada is like, okay, we can open our doors and let other people come in and help us leave. So what's happening currently is the nurses, the current nurses who are currently working in Canada are being overworked. They're so tired. So they keep quitting their jobs left, right, morning, evening, all the time. And so there's a huge need for Canada to look out for internationally trained nurses. Massive healthcare shortages, you know, massive healthcare shortages simply means that there are more opportunities for nurses now than ever before. Even before the pandemic, the Ottawa's Job Bank website was forecasting a shortage of 36,500 nurses for the period from 2019 all the way to 2028. So if you're not a nurse yet and you're considering, it's about time you started your classes. At the upper end of void scale, a nurse in the Canadian territory of Nunavut can earn a median annual wage of $169,45,000 based on a 37.5 hour the median annual wage for nurses across Canada is $78,000 based on that standard work week. Foreign nationals to work in Canada as nurses can use their expertise to seek out jobs and of course gain their permanent residency through the many economic, 
immigration programs at the federal and provincial levels, including through the express entry system, one of the provincial nominee programs, or the skilled worker program. Through the express entry system, nurses can often qualify for federal skilled worker program, provided their comprehensive ranking system profile scores highly enough. Nurses can also qualify to move to Canada through the skilled worker program in Quebec. And this will happen if they score more than 50 points or more on the province's selection grid. Each province in Canada also operates its own PNP that eventually leads to Canadian permanent residency. Registered nurses who hold a university degree in nursing, registered psychiatric nurses who hold a bachelor's degree or a postgrad degree in psychiatric nursing, and licensed practical nurses or registered practical nurses with post-secondary diplomas in nursing are all welcome into Canada. Now the thing is foreign nurses need to have their credentials recognized. Immigrating to Canada for these nursing professionals can be as easy as one, two, three. ABC. The first step for a nurse eyeing Canada as her destination or his destination for immigration is to have his or her academic credentials evaluated to see if they are up to Canadian standards. The Canadian government recognizes five organizations for the assessments of foreign educational credentials. And the five organizations happen to be number one, World Education Services. US. Number two, International Credential Assessment Service of Canada, ICAS. Number three, Comparative Education System, CES. Number four, International Qualification Assessment Service, IQAS. Number five, International Credential Evaluation Service, ICES. Once the educational and background checks have been completed, the next step is for the prospective immigrant to have those nursing credentials recognized in Canada by the National Nursing Assessment, NNAS, a step that costs $650 Canadian dollars. The second step in the process for the foreign national looking to immigrate to Canada as a nurse is to create a profile on the NNAS application page and that requires okay for the nnas application page if you don't know where to get it i'm going to share the link to the site in the description box of this video so the nnas page the application process requires the submission of two pieces of identity that must be notarized copies of original documents that of course have been signed dated and stamped a completed nursing education form that can be downloaded from the website filled out and signed before being sent to the school where the nurse was educated for that school's officials to complete and then send back directly to NNAS along with academic records or transcripts, course curriculum, and of course, descriptions and syllabus. Submission of the nursing registration form, which is to be sent to the nursing licensing authority where the nurse is currently registered in his or her home country. The nursing practice or employment form, which must be signed and sent to all the employers the nurse has hired over the past five years for them to complete and send to NNAS and the prospective applicant for immigration's IELTS language testing results which must be sent directly to NNAS from an approved language testing organization or company. So what we are saying here is when you are booking for your IELTS test in the application form, in the system online, they normally ask, how do you want to get your results? Do you want your results to be sent directly to you or do you want your results to be sent to a different location? So that's when you give those details. So you don't book your test and then you are thinking you're going to get your results and then send to NNAS. So when you are making application, when you are booking for your IELTS test, you need to indicate where your certificate should be sent. So in this case, for your case as a nurse, your certificate is supposed to be sent directly to NNAS. AS. Foreign nurses must apply to provincial regulatory authorities. After that has been done and the documents have been received by NNAS, the nurse can submit his or her application and pick the nursing group and provincial association to which they wish to apply. 
So the provincial associations are many. I cannot even list all of them here. But what I'm going to do in the description of this video, in the description of this particular video, I'm going to list them. So you can choose, okay, which province do you want to go settle? Which province do you want to go live in as an nurse? And then you apply to those organizations. So again, I'm going to give you a comprehensive list that you can check and then choose where you're going to send your applications. So for now, very quickly, let's check where we can get these nursing jobs. So for this specific video, I'm going to make it very quickly, very short and show you where you can get nursing jobs, but I'm going to share more places where you can get jobs in another video for nurses. So for this particular case, we are looking at this site over here. It's very simple, ca.indeed.com, okay? These websites, there are so many of them and they are different, right? So I'm going to share the link to this specific website in the description below okay so no worries so when you come to this website you'll see what you are searching for okay then here you can say canada nurse and then you can choose the city where you want to look for that job right and then when you go through you can see this one is a new job just posted nurse aid self-care home support okay and where the job is located this particular job is in british columbia and then the starting salary is 28.5 zero dollars an hour and it's a full-time job i love full-time jobs okay and then if you move down a little you'll see registered practical nurse the location where it is new market ontario is the province and then the salary is between 34 and 37 dollars an hour so then you go through the details of this job and then you decide if it, you want to apply for it or not and then the next one also there's nurse aid medicine shop okay and then the exact location and these ones are, will start you at 23 dollars an hour and again it's a full-time job okay and then there's so many of them so you just go through and then you go for the job that you want so like for this one nurse aid here there's a link showing you if you want to apply on the company site and if you want to apply on the company site all you need to do is just click on the site and then you send your application and then at the bottom here they are giving you the job details the salary 28 dollars an hour and the job type is full time and again here you have full job description or equivalent experience so screening questions they're asking you are you currently legally able to work in canada they like asking this and i've been telling you over a million and one times that overlook every time they're telling you are you currently legally uh, able to work in canada just overlook that and apply for the job regardless of what they're saying what is the highest level of study you have completed of course you tell them do you have previous experience in this field of employment you tell them whether it's a yes or no do you have the above indicated required certificate applications you speak your truth are you available for the advertised start date then you say whether you're available or if you'll need more time okay and this job was just posted two days ago right so when you come on this side all these jobs are listed and then when you click on it you'll get details on the right side okay so i've clicked on cash wellness apply on company website if you want to then you click on it and send your application but before that you need to check on the full job description and so when you are writing your cover letter okay you pick two or three or five of these points down here then bring in some of these points on your cover letter okay just to match your cover letter against the job responsibilities right so you pick two or three or four or even five right and then you don't use the ex same exact words that they're using. You don't just copy and paste. You say maybe we are looking at, what are they saying? Full job description. Uh, okay, two years of work experience. That's what they're looking for. The asking of you responsibilities collaborate and consult with the occupational health physician, emergency response operations, and other interdisciplinary team members. So you can take that statement and then use your own words and just add it on your cover letter your resume your cv is normally standard so your cover letter you always try and twist it around the job that you're applying for so this job gives you like all the necessary details that you need to have you as the job seeker and then it continues i like going for the newly posted jobs but if a job is 30 days old you can still go ahead and apply for it okay so again you click on it and then you get all the details for the job on this side on this side everything job description and please again remember for the job description try and pick at least two or three points and add it on your cover letter and don't use the same same words don't copy and paste take the points and then you paraphrase use your own words to say the same thing on your cover letter okay that is going to add on 
your chances of getting the job okay so i've given you all the details how you can immigrate to canada as a nurse whether you're a man or woman i've given you some idea of where you can get a job as a nurse for this video i'm just sharing one link where you can go and get a job but in the more videos to come i'm going to share with you guys more and more and more links and sites where you can go and search for a job but for this one let's just use one link one short link where you can go and get a job otherwise it's going to take a long time and the video is going to be so long and again you my sons and daughters are going to get tired so with all that knowledge if you're a nurse or aspiring nurse now you are empowered now you have all the information you need in this world i mean i could not present this video in any way like better than this i think this is the best that i've done the best that i know for now huh and i don't know you can do your research i don't know whether you can find a better video than this one me me i know my stuff i like saying that so if you have watched this video you are not sure maybe you've missed one or two points you can go back again and rewatch it again and if you're kind enough you can share with other people your friends your relatives your enemies anyone you know sharing is caring and though you normally do it here and without forgetting, we're keeping it positive vibes only. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.